Oh, it's got the beautiful cat. No. What just happened? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's way too early in the morning. I feel like I complained about this in the last video I made. It is way too early o'clock. Yogis, they just gotta do things way too early in the morning. Like, why can't we do yoga at four o'clock in the afternoon to start the day? I'm sorry, I'm like half awake. We're getting started. We're gonna do some yoga. I'm gonna film it, I'll show you guys. And then we're gonna do some excursions in Old Town Funchal. Let's go. Morning yoga is done. Walking back to the hotel now, and then we are gonna start our trip to the Botanical Gardens and Old Town Funchal. And I'm gonna stop vlogging now because I'm using the Ronin to vlog. And it's heavy as hell. My arm's gonna fall off. All right, folks, we made it to Old Town Madeira. There's lots of beautiful doors, painted doors. That's what they're known for here. Let's do some B-roll to show you guys how that looks. to Old Town Funchal. I felt my pocket and realized that my phone wasn't there and I left it in the cab on the way here. So Dave and I are waiting for the cab to come back and bring me my phone. Great start to the adventure. 20 minutes later, got my phone back. I learned a very valuable lesson today and that lesson is wear super tight pants. A, because it shows off my nice butt. B, more importantly, because my phone won't fall out. Up next, we are going to go on the cable car up to the Botanical Gardens, so away we go! Alright, we made it to the top. Time for some Botanical B-roll. Let's go. Come on, how cool is this place? It's like basically photo shoot heaven. There's nooks and crannies and leading lines and railings and spots and flowers and plants and all kinds. You could literally get a million different photo shoots in one spot just by coming here. So what I suggest you guys do is save your money, come with a model, and then let your Instagram blow up because you just took unreal pictures in an unreal setting with a gorgeous model. Also, I forgot to mention that you probably should be in pretty good shape, so start going to the gym before you come. Whew. All right, it's time to head back. And we could have taken the cable car down, but I think we're taking the cooler route. Check this out. Yes. All right, babies, let's do this. This is dope. Look at these guys back here, throwing me down the hill. I love it. I feel like I'm in Tokyo Drift. This is unreal. It's probably exhausting for these guys, though. Well, Dave, it's official. These guys have the best job in the world. They so I'm going to stop doing this whole YouTube vlogging thing, move to Madeira, get my white suit on, and make this my full-time career because that looks like way too much fun. It was a blast. Anyone who comes to Madeira, 100% do that. Alrighty, folks. Another day in the books. A lot of awesome stuff here, and I enjoyed every minute of it, and I definitely I'm very fortunate to be here. Tonight is just, again, dinner and drinks with the group. So, we'll leave it here and I'll catch up to you in the morning, which I'll do a fun transition with. You won't even know that I went to sleep. It's all gonna feel like one day, ready? <laughs> Boom, movie magic, just like that. It's a new day, but you guys at home still think it's the same day. It's very confusing. We're on our way to 25 Fountains. <sighs> Let's go. Little quick car ride later. We're at 25 Fountains up in the mountains. 
And I'm just gonna go uh, over here and meet up with our tour guide. Seems like a nice guy. He's kind of like a no-nonsense guy, kind of like a mess with the bull, you'll get the horns kind of deal. There he is, look at him. He's gonna be taking us up the mountain today. We are about to do uh, about a four or five hour hike. We're gonna go waterfall chasing today. Apparently there's 25 fountains somewhere. I heard they're not actual fountains. They might not be. They, there is a big waterfall and there's 24 other small little water-like things on this walk. Okay, so why do they call it 25 fountains then? I, I don't know, why do you gotta put me on the spot like that? <laughs> <laughs> so we made it to the centerpiece of this walk. I like a 30, I don't know, it's a really tall waterfall. My advice is come early because look at the amount of people here. It's not very good for pictures right now. But how dope is that? Look at that, it goes all the way up there. Tour guide gave us a bunch of facts. I don't remember any of them, so just come here and see it for yourself. And on that note, we're going home. Beautiful car. No. What just happened? The guy mistook my microphone on top of my camera as a cat. He said, look at this beautiful cat up here. <laughs> On that note, I don't think there's anything left to see here. I actually have no idea how far we are. I'm feeling okay. She's lying. I'm not okay. I'm at a 7 out of 10. I need a coffee. Oh, sorry. My butt is hurting and I'm using the rail to pull my ass up. That translates to we're all struggling, we're all dying, the rail is the only thing keeping me up and we're nowhere close to home. All right, ladies and gents, we are back at the car now. I think it's a great walk if you don't want to fill your legs after. This is definitely the walk for you. Other than that, very beautiful. Ash, would you agree? I agree. I think everybody should hike the 25 fountains. There you go. Ash said it, so you guys have to listen. Next time you're in Madeira, do that. We're headed to yoga, and then we are going to an island tour. So we'll be going all over the island. I'll probably show you some B-roll and stuff from that. And then we're going back to the natural pools so all the guests here can swim and have a good time. I'll just keep you updated. You know, the next video of me talking will probably be me explaining what's happening. All right, we're in our first stop of the day. I forgot what the tour guide said it was called. It's called Camera to something. He lost me after camera, but... Lobo. Camera dos Lobos. Nice. <laughs> Davy baby. Coming up clutch. But my job today is to get some B-roll of all the guests doing stuff, so the vlogging's probably gonna be light for this little portion here. Boom, just like that without any sort of warning, we're at the next spot. See, he told you, it's gonna be hard to vlog today. <laughs> now, we are at the highest peak in Portugal. No, it's not the highest peak, or it's the highest lookout or something like that, which is also the second highest lookout in all of Europe, apparently. If whether that's true or not, I don't know. Somebody look it up and let me know in the comments. Giant glass floors, looking all the way down, not a big deal. If you're afraid of heights, probably not the spot for you, but still very cool. All right, second last stop of the tour. We're at a peak that's a thousand meters up and the views here are great, so I'll just show you the views and then we'll go to the next one because I've basically yeah. been skipping the transitions. Look at that, folks. It's like yeah. some, some city down there, a little town, sorry. Beautiful, all the way up here. Dave, what do you think of it up here? It's refreshing. I like your hat. Thank you. The only thing that would be better is a Just Be Better cap. Product placement. You guys should uh, visit the merch store and get your hats. I'm gonna go show you the guys the other side now. There's the other side. Woo, look at that. Let's zoom in on that little town down there. Imagine living there. Wow. We interrupt your regular vlog broadcasting with an important message. I just feel like I had to come clean with you guys. I feel like so far this vlog, don't get me wrong, the trip has been unbelievable, but I spent a lot of time working, and I think because of that, the vlog has suffered. I don't feel like it's one of my best vlogs, but I just wanted to you know, get on the record and tell you guys that because I think I owe you that much. I mean, hopefully you're still enjoying seeing what I've done in Madeira, but I realize a lot of the stories not being pieced together properly, and that's on me. But at the end of the day, I am here to work and then vlogging is just an added bonus if I can fit it in, so.
Good morning ladies and gentlemen. It's day something or other on this retreat. I can't even remember what day it is. Starting our day off with a really cool hike, but not before we get espresso and treats. Because <laughs> there's no other way to start your day in Madeira. What's up guys? Here we are at the southernmost tip of the island of Madeira. It's crazy. It's very windy and it's very desert-like. Very different to what we've been doing before. And it's been discovered since 1419, so 600 years ago. This is where the first explorers actually found this island and it looks like this. Leave your camera and hat alone for one second and this is what happened. Take over! Unbelievable. <laughs> Although she probably did a better job of explaining things than I normally do, so. So far, here's the deal. It's very barren and gray. Not exactly a great place for pictures. Here's the best picture I took the whole time we were here. I've also learned that it's so windy that it's very easy to lose your favorite Just Be Better hat. So be careful if you ever come here, you know, wear a hat that you don't like. I think I chalked the lack of picturesqueness up to the day that we're here on like, it's kind of cloudy, not much sun, not much contrast in the landscape. So I think that's why it looks a little bit gray, but I mean, it's cool nonetheless. I don't want to sound like I'm crapping on it here. On this island, there's a mysterious pile of rocks that nobody knows how it got there. Right here, some people say it was aliens. Some people say it was formed by the gods, but I think it was just a bunch of people putting rocks here, in which case it's like a giant group project and I'm gonna contribute. Here's my contribution to the group project. This is how I got through high school. I did my part. Contributing to the group project. We found another alien rock formation slash group project. Tiffany had to steal the show and put her rock right at the top. <laughs> Unbelievable, she just wants all the credit. Well, all the aliens did all the work. That absolute unit you just saw was our tour guide, Eduardo. I actually saw him bench press a truck before we went on this tour, it's insane. He knows a lot about the island, but I don't know. Might give him a run for his money in the muscles department. About an hour into the walk, we are maybe like two thirds of the way, but we've arrived at what they call the Oasis. Check this out. Okay, and that is what there is to see here on this crazy desert island. We are starting our descent back. I've taken about 25 steps and I'm already tired. So this should be fun. <laughs> Growing up, did your grandparents ever say to you guys, when I had to walk to school, I had to walk uphill both ways in the snow? My grandparents did, and I know they were joking, but I kind of believe it now because this hike feels like it was uphill both ways. Another one in the books. If you're keeping track at home, it's Daniel number mountains zero. Point is I'm winning, survived another one, and now I gotta go film a yoga class and then I'm gonna take a nap. We are all done for our excursions for the day. Only thing left is to film a little bit of yoga, go for dinner, and then one more last retreat tomorrow. I'm gonna wrap it here for the night and I'm gonna let some enlightening transitions carry you through to tomorrow morning. Good night. filming that yoga and whale watching today so hopefully I can show you some dolphins and whales and don't get your hopes up because no guarantees that we'll see it but it's the last day I'm kind of bummed I have to go home after this and back to reality anyway I got yoga class to film I'll catch up with you guys right after that last yoga session of the trip filmed done wrapped 
We got whale watching, we got dinner, everybody's gonna cry saying goodbye. I might shed a few tears, not that you guys would see it. Just kidding, I don't cry. And then it's time to go home. What's up, just vlogging. vlogging, just getting ready to go. <laughs> whale watching. All right, ladies and gents, we made it aboard, headed out to sea, and as you can probably see behind me, the boat is absolutely loaded, so I'm hoping we see something, but the reality is if we do, it's gonna be a mad dash to wherever that action is, and I might have to fight off a few people just to see something for you guys. Game plan, video first, then photo. That's what they decided. Hopefully, if we see something, get it on video, and then try to take photos of it after. did it, saw dolphins, and that was pretty sweet, but now the real fun part, the hour and a half ride back to shore. Woo! All right, ladies and gents, we are back from whale watching, dolphin watching, technically. I've got a couple testimonial interviews to conduct, and then that wraps up the trip, so I'll see you at the airport. Take a deep breath in and exhale slowly. Welcome to Explore and Restore Madeira. Sit up tall, find your breath, feel your shoulders soften as the sun kisses your skin. Breathe in the ocean air, exhale and release anything that is heavy and no longer serving you. Explore and Restore is more than a yoga retreat. It is an opportunity to connect to your heart center. From this place inside, you're able to create meaningful friendships, connect to your deepest desires through life-affirming workshops, and explore a beautiful countryside full of amazing people. Through the daily yoga practices and thoughtfully planned excursions, each experience will help restore your mind, body, and spirit. Reconnect to Mother Earth while on incredible hikes through epic natural landscapes. The beauty that surrounds you allows you to step away from your everyday routine to remember what you've always known to be true. An abundance of love and light is within you. Explore and restore is not just a physical practice, but a spiritual connection to your heart and your truest nature. This is an invitation to say yes to yourself to be present to whatever you're feeling, to meet yourself where you are with unconditional love and acceptance. Get out of your head and into your body. A connection of movement to breath, a powerful practice that creates energy and fuels your body and mind to explore the island of Madeira. Here we go again.